Hello everyone. It is time for us to talk about that bread. What about that bread? Yes. So tonight we're going to talk about spirituality versus material. And then, so let's all go for a word of prayer. Pray, amen. That being said, let's get started. I have some glasses. I have some glasses. I really did have my glasses, y'all. All right. Well, we they were me they were immediately at the land which they were going had anybody else caught that before i kind of missed that before so to me that's just some like you better go jesus he's we there they were there so moving on to verse 22 of chapter 6 it says, Jesus, the bread of life. That's the pericope. For those of you all that, uh, you know, we have guest preachers and they said from the pericope, it says. So Jesus, the bread of life. So here is the following day. The people stood on the other side and they're looking for him like, where is he? He's not here. And so they look for him. And then when they go find him, guess what? He's gone on a cross. He's already over there. No problem. Guess what they did? Some of them got into boats. Some of them walked. But they were determined to go and be where Jesus was. Okay? They were determined to be there. So, the people, they have traveled to get to the other side to be where Jesus is. So this is where it gets interesting. We're going to talk about the two questions that they ask of Jesus. Okay, and so I'm in verse 25, and it says, When they found him on the other side of the sea, they said to him, they said to him, Rabbi, when did you come here? Because, you know, they were on the other side. They were thinking he was still there because they saw the disciples leave, but they never saw him leave. So they're like, when did you get when did you come here? When did you get here? And I want you to take take a moment to hear Jesus response, because I laughed. I laughed at his response. His last his response is truly, truly, I say to you. You seek me not because you saw signs, but because you ate of the loaves and were filled. Do not work for food which perishes, but for the food that endures to eternal life, which the Son of Man will give you. For God the Father has set his seal on him. So let me go back to the question again. Let me go back to the question. Let's go back to the question. I'm going to see if y'all know where I'm going. The question is, Rabbi, when did you come here? Did you hear a response in that? Jesus didn't even answer the question. He was like, y'all not, y'all not here for, for, for me. Y'all came because you saw signs. Because you ate of the loaves of bread. So my first point I want to make clear, the intentions, the bread of life knows your intention. We have established that Jesus is the bread of life and he knows the intentions of our hearts. And so he did not answer their question. How did you get here? Because if he had told him how he got there, he would say, look, you know, I came over in the middle of the water, walked in the middle of the water, met the disciples last night and we, you know, we came ashore right here immediately. But he didn't say that because he was like, I ain't dealing with y'all because you only came because you saw signs. Because you ate the loaves and were filled, their bellies were full. But he says, don't work for the food which perishes. 
but for the food which endures eternal life. When Jesus left to go and be in seclusion, when the disciples left, he saw that the people were more interested in him being a magician. He had healed the sick. Remember, they followed him. Remember I said, remember that. They followed him. So as far as they were concerned, he was making uh, magic. He was making things happen. They were miracles, but they were missing the point. And so Jesus recognized immediately they're missing it. Now, you and I know that there is a difference between the spiritual and the material. They were hung up on the material people. They were so hung up on the material. They were missing the spiritual. They, 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 they missed it completely. Yes, he filled them. But what they missed was he took a little, they gave him five, five barley loaves of bread and two fish. They missed the point how he took that little and multiplied it. This is what the bread of life did. They were just looking at, oh, we ate, we were full. When you think about it, Jesus said to them, after they asked the question, asked the question, how did you get here? He said, y'all are not concerned with that. And, and I, I thought that was so significant because if we go to Hebrews chapter four, verse 12, it says, for the word of God is alive and active sharper than any double edged sword. It penetrates even the dividing soul and spirit joint and marrow. It judges the thoughts and the attitude of the heart. That's what Jesus did. He, he judged them right there instantly. And that one question, he was just like, y'all are not here for that. And so he goes on to say, you know, don't work for food. And they had traveled, they had walked, they had rode, you know, they had burnt energy trying to get over to the other side to him because he had performed these miracles. He wanted them to be, uh, they wanted him to be a uh, king as he saw. He, they wanted him to fee feed them again. They wanted him to perform some more of those miracles or magic, if you would say. They wanted to see that, but he was like, you're missing it. You're missing it. He said, don't work for food that perishes. So he's like, y'all came all this way because of some bread, pretty much. Think about our meetings in everyday life, when y'all are planning meetings or y'all are planning some type of discussion or get together, what's the first thing somebody will say? We need to have some food there. 